On this channel, I've showcased how to build AI models, how to deploy them on the cloud, and now I'm gonna be showcasing how to actually create your own chatbot by creating your own data set with Bright Data, which is today's sponsor. Bright Data is an all-in-one platform for proxies and web data. This is a great tool that will enable you to collect public data quite easily and efficiently. With Bright Data, you gain the ability for premium proxy infrastructure with 100% ethically sourced IPs. You unlock blocks as well as CAPTCHAs to collect data with a single API. You can run scrapers as fully hosted serverless functions and even scrapers with the ability to collect fresh and validated data sets from any public website. Now, you may be wondering, how do we use Bright Data for creating our data set for the chatbot that we're creating? Well, we're going to be using Bright Data to build data sets using their automated platform that will use AI to generate schemas as an API for on-demand data. Now, this is a tool that will help us process, collect the data, parse it, it will validate it, and it will deliver the data to you effortlessly so that you can use the data set to train your large language model or your AI model. You can construct your data set from various industries such as e-commerce, you have social media, you have SEO, as well as data for training AI. And this is by collecting context to train any model that you would like. This is the ability of Bright Data. And this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video as I showcase how you can build a chatbot and create your custom data set with Bright Data. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you how to create your own AI chatbot with your own data that we're going to be fine tuning it with using Bright Data. Now, as I mentioned before, Bright Data is a tool that we're going to be using to gather the data and have it so that Bright Data will automate the creation of our own data set quite easily and quite efficiently. Now, we're going to be using BotPress as the actual tool to create the chatbot, but we're going to be using Bright Data as a tool to gather the information and automating the process to create the data set. Now, with the assistance of Bright Data, we're going to efficiently gather data, particularly in the real estate category, where we're going to be focusing on Zillow property listings in various states in the US, where we're going to narrow it down even further by including bedrooms, the price, as well as many other factors. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to be developing an AI chatbot using BotPress, where it's going to help us gather relevant information based off the data set that we had provided it for new home buyers, investors, as well as having it so that it could be used to have natural language processing that's trained to provide relevant information for valuable insights. You have analysis, ratios, which is all gained from the Zillow data set that is provided by Bright Data. So how can you get started? Well, I want you guys to create an account. You can sign up using Google or you can start a free trial using an email. Once you have done that, you're going to be sent to this page where you can select the product that best describes your needs. Now, once you're at this page, you can choose between two product lines. You have the proxies and scrapping infrastructure, as well as the web data collection and scrapper development tool. So this proxy is basically used for accessing a diverse network of proxies, including residential, ISP, and many others. This is something that includes features like static as well as rotating IPs, web unlocking for unblocking pages, and so much more. So if you're interested in doing any of this, you should definitely take a look at their proxy products. But since since we're going to be using this product where we're going to be utilizing the scrapping infrastructure that will unlock the full potential of web data for our data set. We can access curated data sets, build our own, automate our own data set, and so much more. So we can then simply just click this button, explore data products, and you'll be then sent over to this page. Now, once you're here, you can actually choose from popular data sets that they have already curated. You can see that there's the Crunchbase company's information, which will give you public web data that is fully updated. And these are data sets that they're continuously updating on a daily basis. You have LinkedIn profiles, you have Amazon products, and so much more. You also have different data products such as Web Scrapper ID, where you can develop scrappers using Bright Data's JavaScript ID. You can also use custom data sets that you can request 
But in this case, we're going to be dealing with the Zillow properties listing information data set. So we can search it up or find it in the data set marketplace. You can click on this, you can either search it up or you can search through the different categories. Now, in this case, I'm just simply search it up. I'm going to search up Zillow and you can see that it's going to find the 107 fields, 131 million records. And these are data sets that are being updated on a frequent basis. So we can see that you can even select different popular subsets such as the properties built after 2015 for sale or this other category but in this case we're just going to click on view data set and have it load up and you can see that this Zillow properties listing data set includes a description which showcases that you're able to unlock a treasure trove of real estate intelligence. It's a data set encompassing a diverse array of property listings featuring crucial details such as pricing, property specifications, as well as location information. But what we're going to be doing with this data set is so that it's going to be able to provide investors as well as new home buyers the insights that they would actually want to ask a real real estate agent but in this case they're going to be able to ask a chatbot for these insights such as finding out which property has three bedrooms and two rooms or a sp specific use case or a specific specification that they might have for a certain home and they can ask that using the bot press chatbot interface and they can ask that query to the bot press chatbot and they're going to be able to get that relevant information based off the data set that is being provided from bright data if you are to click on dictionary, it's going to give you a detailed analysis on what each column basically means, and it gives a description as well as the data type. So this is a great way for you to understand your data. If you go to the use cases, it will basically tell you what you can use this data set for. But in this case, we already have a particular use case where we're going to be providing potential investors as well as new home buyers the insights that they would want. You can go to the about page. It'll give you a good understanding about what your data set is. You can even check out the Q&A for it. But what we're going to be doing now is we're going to customize our data set. Now, as we saw from the start, this is a really large data set. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this filter button. We're going to customize it so that it has certain filters attributed to it where it's going to select certain things such as the city. So what we can do is we can create a chatbot for a particular state where it can even have it so that there's filters for different regions so it could find the best homes within those regions. So in this case, I'm just going to create a very generic chatbot data set for California. So what you can do is where you can go to the filters tab, you can add a new filter, you can click on the state, you can have it so that it is California. So you got to then find the California uh, like abbreviation, which is CA, and then you can create that subset. But in this case, you can also see that this is a data set that is as of the 11th of April, which is today's date, which is amazing. And it goes to show that this is a very accurate and very up to date data set that is continuously being updated as frequently as possible by Bright Data. So I went along and I added all the filters that I want for my subset. And this is just particularly for California. You can even have it so that it could even include various states. But this is just a small subset and a small example that I'm just tr trying to showcase so that you get a better idea as to how you can craft your own data set. And there you go. I have this new data set that was crafted and automated using Bright Data. And this is what I'm going to be feeding into my chatbot. So you can see that it has all the categories that I specified. I added so that it is also including certain filters where it's going to be targeting certain states. And this is the great thing about Bright Data for you are able to craft your own data set for your own particular need. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use BotPress to create the AI chatbot component where we're going to be using our data set and infusing our data set using the chatbot creation tool that BotPress provides. So we're going to basically merge the data set with their chatbot component so that it is a functional chatbot that will provide us insightful information. Now guys, there's many other options in terms of creating the chatbot component. You can utilize Chat Generation YBI, 
You can utilize LM Studio as well as many other third party apps to create your chatbot component. So what I've done now is I basically went along and created an account with BotPress. Once you are in the workplace area, the workspace area, you can then create your own bot. You can just simply click new bot and you're going to be able to start creating this chatbot. So this will take a couple seconds. You can then open it up in the studio. And once it has fully loaded up, we'll simply get started. So now that the studio is loaded up, what we need to do first is upload our default knowledge base. So we can head over to this tab over here. We can click on the document tab to upload our PDF. So now that we have uploaded our knowledge base, we can start creating the chatbot component. So what we can do is head over to the main page. You, once you are here, you can see that this is where we have a start node and an end node. These are two components that are needed for any sort of workflow. So in this case, I have created a welcome node. So whenever someone is wanting to use my chatbot, it will send over this message where I have it so that it will send this message where it states that, hello, welcome to the Zillow properties listing information. It's an AI chatbot where you will be able to gain valuable insights into potential properties and funding gleaned from Zillow. Now we need to create and connect our default knowledge base node to this original component. So we can click on right click on this, create a new standard node. We're going to rename it to Q&A knowledge base and we're going to click enter. Once you have done that, you need to add a crucial raw card, which is the raw input card. This is quite crucial because this raw input card is going to basically process queries so that whenever people are asking questions, it will utilize the knowledge base component to answer those questions. So what we can do now is connect it to our knowledge base. And this is where you can include the knowledge bases. You can search between all the different knowledge bases that you have. But since in this case, we uploaded to the default knowledge base, we can just select it and we can then have it so that it is now having the knowledge base connected in this node. So we can then connect it to this and we can actually start trying and testing it out. So let's test this out. What we're going to do now is go to the emulator and try to see if we're able to get relevant answers based off the context that we have provided. So I'm going to first start off with the high message, which will then prompt in this welcome node and that message that we have set. Now, what I'm going to do is ask it, find me a home under 800 K. So I'm going to quickly write this in and then I'm going to submit it. So once that is submitted, it will then find the relevant information from the context that we have provided. And we can see over here that the Zestimate for the house is 619K. And this is the rent Zestimate for this home. And that's around approximately 2,299. And we can see that it gives you the square footage, a lot more information, and it will even provide you more options. It will give you reference points to, as to where that information is coming from. And this is a great way for you to get gain a lot more analysis. For example, you can ask it even further, find me a new house with a school zone close by, or give me more options where there's more bedrooms in a house or more bathrooms. These are all the customizable things that you can get from your data set. And that is the true capability of bright data being integrated with BotPress. This is what you can do with these two being integrated. And it just goes to show that Bright Data is an amazing tool that will provide you automated data sets as well as ready-made data sets that you can use for various functionalities. And that's basically it for today's video as to how you can create an AI chatbot with your own data set that you can actually create. And this is something I truly recommend and that you take a look at because this was something that I did within a couple of minutes. It didn't take me that long. I was able to get my data set quite easily. I was able to filter it out and you can even have it so that you can get your own filtered AI driven data sets. So definitely recommend that you take a look at Bright Data. They have a pretty, like I would say, lenient data set or pricing structure for their data set, which you should take a look at. And I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, got some sort of value out of it. I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.